Yo, what is up guys? Juan Carlos here bringing you a new video. So today is October 22nd of 2020. And so what I got here is KBSF. And so I saw this on my morning screener in uh, the NASDAQ as largest percent stock gainers. And so um, it was trading pretty heavy in the morning. And so um, I this, uh, this morning I set um, some price levels and so this is just randomly I'm just looking for places where it touches right there this is randomly going on right now and so uh, this is what I usually do just uh, look at um, charts and see if it could um, break those levels or not and so um, this morning uh, we could check it out right here this morning it opens up at uh, Two, uh, two eighty-three, and then jumps all the way to two ninety-five-ish, and then uh, back down all the way to the two seventies, and so um, I remember I had this, I had this uh, two eighty-four level already marked beforehand, um, but you could see that I did it right now, but um, uh, that that one was there before I set. A level and so I placed my order at 284 and so right here is where I get filled I placed my order right here and then it opens up at 293 going up all the way to almost touching that three dollar range but uh, 293 it was and then it breaks down all the way to that 282 level and then goes back up down opens up at uh, 287 dropping all the way to low of 270 and I was risking uh, this low candle right here and I was not that worried but um, I kept I uh, I held it for I wanted to make 10% on this trade and so let's say I put it here uh, right there 10% would have been uh, 10% would have been selling at around 313 and as you can see I sold right here at 3.09 and so um, uh, let's see how much percent that was uh, that was about about eight 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 point five percent on that trade and um, yeah it, it was it was moving a good it was good volatility on this stock um and so i had a, i have a couple things written down right here i said uh kbsf placed order at 284 risk day of low again i was risking this day of low profit of ten dollars which i made and uh, it went under price four times. Lowest it went was 2.70 and my risk was 266. So I stick to my plan, wanted to make 10% or so, sold at 2.09 for a profit of 10 bucks. Uh, what could I have done better? I should have bought at, at a lower price, about 270. So um, I wanted, a more ideal trade would have been to buy dip, this dip right here, but it's not a dip, but it's like a, uh, bounce off the lows at 271 and um, and then sell at that 3.05 that would have been at least 12 to 13 percent and that would have been about uh, 34 to 35 cents of upside um, better what do I want to do better on my next trade I want to buy near bottom and sell at top I buy towards low middle and I want to maximize my profit loss so that's basically what I want to improve on. Um, uh, but the uh, this stock had so many opportunities throughout the day. I would say it had three ma uh, about four major uh, points where you could have uh, uh, had opportunities to buy. I would say this one was the first one. So again, you could have bought at 271, sold at like 310. Uh, let's say you sell at uh, 305. So that would have been at least 34, 35 cents of upside. Uh, and then we get two nice ones right here. Uh, again, this was kind of choppy, but again, if you're prepared for these stocks and if you have a risk in mind, you are um, not risking that much, but again, you are risking. 
so let's say you do sell right here at uh, uh, you buy right here at uh, uh, 263 and uh, you want 15% of upside let's say even 10% uh, you could sell at 291 and then that 15% that would have been at selling at 3.05 and if you would have caught the top that would have been uh, 318 uh, for this one right here so that's a good uh, opportunity and then we have another nice one up here let's say you hold this one from up here to up uh, to download to that download to this up here uh, that's about 80 uh, 33 percent of upside and let's say you buy right about right here at 290 catching this top that's about 20 percent of upside uh, 17 max most of 15 percent higher and then it drops really hard through uh, through the afternoon a uh, little bit consolidation just not much going on this pretty much is uh, boring right here but um, towards the close we do get this nice spike up so let's say you buy at three dollars and it goes all the way to high of of 430 so that's about a dollar and thirty cents of upside from where uh, you would have bought, let's say, and you could have made about uh, forty-three percent, um, almost twenty, at least fifteen percent and high percent or higher on this trade. But um, yeah, that was my trade for today. It was just that morning play. I uh, didn't trade, wasn't looking at the market. I was looking at the market throughout the whole morning and uh, and afternoon, but just mostly I look, I like to uh, buy the first hour of the morning, I like to buy the first hour of the market. That's where I see, um, where I see my plays at. But yeah, if you did like the video, comment down below what you did learn from it and uh, like the video, subscribe and peace out guys.